Hey guys, Pete Lodge Shop Researchers. Wanted to talk real quick. I had another shipment in from Reptile Basics the other day. Um, I've been waiting for a while for these particular items to come back into stock. They've been out of stock for quite a while. Um, as, as you know, the puppies are downstairs doing a, uh, or playing, and they're barking a little bit. So bear, if you hear that, that's why. Um, I've been waiting for these to come back into stock. These are the Midget Crocs water bowls that Reptile Basics carries. They come in uh, singles or you can buy them in packs of 12. Um, I've been waiting for the packs of 12 to come back into stock. Um, the singles have been out of stock for a while also. So that being said, um, when you first get them in, you'll get a, if you order the 12, it'll come in a small box. Like so, this box here had 12 in there. Um, of course my phone was off. They will come with stickers in the bottom. Let me get my flashlight out here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right, they come with these stickers in the bottom of the, the croc here. Uh, just telling you, croc heavyweight, um, 4 ounces, uh, 1.2 liters, and uh, these are the midgets. So, all you need to do with these is these come out very easily. Just kind of work around the edges until you can get a spot to where the edge is going to come up for you. Now watch this one, you're going to make me a liar. But once you get it started, Got it. They will usually come out fairly easy without leaving any part of the sticker in the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll get it started. Anybody that has any problems getting these out, I'll get it started there, like right here. I have it started. And you can just pull around the edge of the crock. And it should come all the way out. Now I do highly recommend after you get your stickers out, I'm going to pull this out. There's the entire sticker. That you wash your crocs or you wash your water bowls, whatever they are, whatever you're using, wash them before you use them. Um, that'll get make sure that they're nice and clean and sterile. Uh, I have been using for my um, my eight quart tubs from Reptile Basics. Uh, these are the eight quarts for the VE sixes and VE six E racks. I've been using two inch sewer caps. These you can pick up at any Menards. Uh, they're two, I think two. 10 a piece or something like that, or two dollars a piece, um, and they fit very well inside here. Well, I wanted to get some more of these, but I haven't been to Menards in a while. Uh, Menards is about a 20 minute drive from my house. Not terrible by any means, but uh, let's this over here. So I, I've been wanting to try out the Crocs from Reptile Basics, so Midget. The smalls will not fit in here. The smalls are just a little too wide. The lip on the around the top is just a little too wide, but these will fit in the tub very nicely. And they will fit in there real well. Um, so yeah, the, the midges will fit in the eleven quart tub, or the eight quart tubs from Reptile Basics for the VE sixes and the VE six E's. Checking out my rats. This feed day up here. I've got rats up here. I've got mice up here for my my guys, for my kids. So, I, I have been using the sewer caps. They work fine. Um, they work really well, in fact. Uh, I've been using them for a couple years, well, a year and a half, for my smaller animals. And for my hatchlings from last year, um, which are all all now into 11 quart tubs, which now I'm using the four inch sewer caps. This, is this. this one's dirty, it needs to be clean. It's sitting over here so I can take it downstairs and wash it. Um, this is a four inch sewer cap. It's got a flat bottom on it. Uh, I will say that these, the stickers, the little barcode stickers, are a pain in the butt to get off. I will actually take some uh, 300 grit sandpaper, really, really, really fine stuff, and sand it to get it off there. And that's after I soak it for a couple of hours in hot water. And it still won't come all the way off. So I make sure I get that nice and clean. But you don't want anything sticky in there with your animals. Uh, before, when I first started with this, and I had my first VE6E and six, yeah, my VE6E racks with the 11 quart tubs, I took a piece of Velcro and stuck it on the bottom of each of the four inch sewer caps that I had, and then subsequently put the other side on the bottom of the tub. Worked fine. Realized after a while I didn't actually need that stuff in there, so I've 
been taking the uh, Velcro and stuff off the sewer caps and off of the bottom of the tubs and cleaning the crap out of the tubs so there's nothing sticky or anything left in there for the animals to get on them. Because you don't want anything sticky to get on your reptile or your animal for that matter. Um, whatever you may be keeping in your tubs or your enclosures or whatever. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get going on my feed. Um, I highly recommend using the sewer caps. They work really, really well. But I did want to try the Crocs. So I picked up two of the two 12 packs of these. Each 12 pack was $23.99 before taxes and everything. Um, I think I had everything taxes and out the door to my house with shipping because at Reptile Basics, if you spend over $100, you get free shipping. I did not need to get anything at the time to justify spending $100 there. So I spent the $48 and, some, and taxes and shipping. It all came to $57 and some change out the door to my house. And they shipped it within a couple of days, which was really good. I was actually surprised about that. Things being the way they are in the world, everyone knows that shipping and, and uh, Orders and stuff take a while sometimes, but these were shipped out real quick. Um, I have not been on, back on their website, but as of two days ago, they still had a few of these in stock. I can actually look real quick and grab my phone. If it doesn't die on me, it's down 15%. That's actually the lowest my phone's ever been, truth be told, as far as the charge goes, and I've had it for a year and a half. So we're going to go to shop. I'm going to come down here to listen to the puppies downstairs barking. And I still will do a video on them, don't worry. Water and feeding bowls. And we're going to scroll down to, let's see, Jumbo Croc, no, medium, small, Midget Croc. Midget Croc Dish 12 Pack, $23.99 before taxes. They do still have it in stock. They show on their website that they're pink and blue. Um, mine are green and blue, not a big deal. Uh, not, so what, they're green and blue. I'll show another one too. Let me pull a green one out here. And here's a green one. Green and blue. Not bad. I'm not, I usually don't color code my, my animals to my water dishes. I mean, I have pink and they're supposed to be pink, but they're like reddish and blue and white, and it doesn't matter. As long as it works. I don't care what color it is. You could be neon. neon sky blue or neon green or something and I wouldn't care but the lime green and the blue are good so that being said I'm going to stick these back down here uh, get them out of my way but I do uh, I will say if you're a Menards and you need some water dishes for some small tubs the sewer caps work really well um, but if you have the time to wait I would order some of the up top basic stuff you won't be disappointed I got some of their mediums here. I did not here, set this up or anything. Here's a medium crop that they have. Uh, I want to say this is uh, five or six inches across. These work really well for my uh, 23 quart tubs and my uh, 28 quart tubs on my sea serpents rack. Uh, animals usually don't tip them. I mean, very rarely uh, the animal will tip it over. But uh, I usually pack the repti chip around it pretty well to where it's not easily tipped. And I usually tuck it up in one of the corners, which they always usually move it in the middle of the tub anyway. So, but yeah, they usually don't tip them. They work real well. So if you get a chance, try them out. They're good hard plastic. They should last a lifetime. Uh, they clean up really easy when you're washing them. So, yeah. Other than that, I don't have too much else to say, guys. I'm going to get going on my feeding tonight. I'm going to get my my uh, reptile buddy going and, and get my barcodes checked. and. Hopefully everybody eats, fingers crossed. Uh, no eggs as of yet, still waiting. Uh, another another week, we're getting close. And uh, we'll be doing a video on that, that's for sure. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, jump on over to Patreon and we're gonna talk about uh, eggs and stuff as I'm feeding and uh, what my plans are for the hatchlings this year. Um, and uh, what's gonna happen, so. Um, like, share, subscribe. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, hit the little bell notification. Um, so that way you know when I put up a new video. I'm starting to try and get back into doing one all, uh, once a week or t once every couple weeks. 
Uh, now the new puppies are here and we're getting kind of in the routine of having the pups here. Um, I should be able to have, have enough time to do my uh, videos on my days off. Um, today was a busy day though. I was running all day almost. And uh, it was a good day though. Got to spend some time with my father-in-law. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, had a good day with him. Um, and then came home here, spent the rest of the day with the pups. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been so far today. It's feed time. I've got the day off tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is rat cleaning day. I clean rat tubs tomorrow morning. Um, let me also I want to know aspen or pine on your uh, rat tubs if you breed rats or you keep rats. Uh, what do you what do you guys use? I have used aspen for the longest time, but here in the area, aspens come really hard to to find. Um, they did have some at the store today, but I did not get aspen because I had bought some pine last week. And pine is actually a lot cheaper, I found. I can get a huge bag of pine uh, for like five bucks. When I can get a huge, well, a slightly smaller huge bag of aspen for $13. So yeah, I'm going to start buying the pine, I think. Um, it's, not, it's okay for the animals. They do real well. The rats seem to like it. Uh, they're having a good time. Makes the basement smell like uh, fresh cut 2 by 4s I was a carpenter for a long time, so that's good to me. So yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys use. Um, have any questions, send me a message or comment on the video. I will try and get back to you as quick as I can. I do work a full-time job, and I do have uh, puppies and stuff to take care of here at home. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, go over on Instagram, check us out over there. Go over on TikTok. I do have a couple of videos up over there. Um, am I TikTok famous? By no means. I mean, hey, uh, I'm just good looking. So, that being said, guys, I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye.